as i said in this session we discussed just about the course overview of deep learning for image processing so in this particular session i will just brief out what all is there and what we can learn in the best manner for deep learning so initially we will learn how to use the pre trained neural networks so in that first step would be obviously we will load and view the images once we load and view the images we start making predictions so that is you train a neural network classify and predict what is it and then to do that we need to have some basics of this neural network and uh, wide applied neural network is cnn that is convolutional neural network so what is this architecture how it works in detail with different layers we will just go through and investigate and after learning the working operations of the cnn architecture we investigate the predictions by by plotting and analyzing how it varies with respect to different thresholds so this is all about just using the pre trained neural networks in the first section then proceeding to the next section we will learn how do we manage the collection of image data for example you have 1 tb or 10 terabytes of images in the folder so how to handle this image data we will learn for that we create a image data store of particular format and this need not necessarily you will do it manually instead we do have commands which will help you to figure out or filter out the images based on their formats let it be tiff format or jpeg format or or png format whatsoever format you choose to apply or implement those formats can be filtered out and loaded to the matlab and that is how we create a data store of the images so for that not just exploring the images and creating the data store with particular format we need to prepare these images so once the data store has been prepared we prepare the images as the input for the processing with the productions then we process the images in the data store maybe like augmenting the data store or color preprocessing that is because all images may not be of the same size same resolution etc so these preprocessing task needs to be done and maybe we need to create a subfolder to store this data or a copy of this so all this handling the images that is just pre processing for the production predictions to happen is done in managing collections of the image data set on along with transfer learning so transfer learning as i initially told it not is is not just pre processing it includes maybe we need to tilt the image rotate the image all such things along with that components of transfer learning would be training data set testing data set and the algorithm all these things so once you are done with all the net training the algorithm implementing you evaluate the performance you are ready set go to implement the projects and here you need to note that the course ends with evaluating the performance of the train network and you are not implementing project with the on ramp part instead we need to download the images and learn with the toolbox available with the matlab install matlab and then process if you are interested so please note if you want to implement project on your own you need to install the matlab install the toolbox whatever it is mentioned in the video or on the go with the steps and then download the data sets mentioned in the on ramp course then follow these procedures to implement the project however this course doesn't require you to implement the project you just need to know how do you implement the project so happy learning